The Army and the Assam Rifles have so far rescued 23,000 civilians from the violent hit state and moved them to the operating bases besides helping in evacuation of hundreds of students from other states of the region. Evacuation of students picked pace today with the Assam Rifles assisting in the operations. So the Army and the Assam Rifles have so far rescued 23,000 civilians from the violence hit state and moved them to the operating bases besides helping in evacuation of hundreds of students from other states of the region. Evacuation of students picked pace today with the Assam Rifles assisting in the operations. And as many as 676 stranded Naga people in Manipur were evacuated and brought safely to Kohima, Assam Rifles IGAR North, this afternoon in a joint operation by the Assam Rifles and Nagaland Police. A welcome reception was held at Assam Rifles IGAR North for the rescued students. General Vikas Lakhera of the Assam Rifles, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton and Nagaland DGP Rupin Sharma. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton, in his personal capacity, also gave financial assistance of Rs 5,000 each to every family as an immediate relief. Can you brief us about uh, the evacuation process that happened today? How many has come and uh, some are going to leave for Dimapur? So what arrangement is the government yeah, doing? That for those who are going down to Dimapur, we have arranged bars and taxis. Yeah. So they'll be reaching Dimapur today. Is there any message for those still stranded in Imphal, Manipur? No, no. I want to appeal to them that uh, from by tomorrow we are going to send uh, passes to bring them, so I want to request them to be patient. Yeah. So how many will you be deploying? Uh, we will not deploy uh, more passes because of the situation. So tomorrow we are going to send 14. Next, 14, like that we will send. Till we work with all the uh, settlers of, in Manipur, we are going to send passes. Yeah, thank you. The Assam Rifle, in coordination with the government of Nagaland, the Nagaland police have done a commendable job. Uh, you have evacuated 600, uh, 76 persons, individuals here, and they're all back home in Nagaland safely. Can you tell us the process, uh, how, whether there was any difficulty while leaving for in route to Infal and also coming back? Uh, we were sounded on uh, third and fourth when the situation became bad. So after that, it's just a matter of uh, time because uh, we are in control of things. So there are people, some rifles and army, uh, three core troops inside Imphal. So we coordinated with them. Uh, the buses were already there in Sinapati. Uh, Brigadier Wade Benewal was briefed. So our aim is that uh, whenever we plan such a uh, operation, we prepare uh, in totality. Uh, it doesn't matter how much time it takes, but it, what matters is that everybody of our children come back to Nagaland safely and in doing so we coordinated with everybody uh, it was a wonderful teamwork by all the stakeholders uh, you are aware that how much anxious the parents were but the job is not finished yet okay uh, it's just the first part so tomorrow again uh, we'll take consolidated details from state government and also helpline and you help us please if you can run tickers on your news channels and if you can uh, tell us that where the children are stuck uh, we will. Uh, it will be very uh, easy for us to track them down, and then get them back uh, in the next trip. So uh, we are committed to the people of Nagaland. Okay, uh, uh, till the time we are in Nagaland, we are Nagas. Sir, also, how many security personnel were deployed from Assam Rifle for this first batch of evacuation, and how many will be deployed tomorrow? So we have a component of uh, two columns of 30 each plus Brigadier Ved Benwal and his party. So it's nearly around 75 to 80 boys who are there. Because the convoy is long, and you must have seen now the buses when they come, 16, 17 buses. So to secure each bus, we require component of troop. 
So we have around 75 uh, to 80 boys along with uh, Brigadier, two captains uh, who will uh, who are the part of this rescue operation. And since all of them have come back uh, safely and happily, um, we can announce uh, very proudly that uh, this particular Kohima calling mission uh, is a success. So how are you feeling coming back home? I'm so glad we reached home safely, all of us together, and I'm really grateful for all the people who help us through Tig and Tini at these uh, tough moments. We are so gr grateful for everything. How were you surviving in that situation? Actually, under my campus, uh, it was quite safe, I would say, but due, uh, due to the soon scarcity, we were quite scared for that matter, so we, we were like, we didn't know what to do, so we just contacted our president, all of us, we just contacted the officials here and they really do, did help us. Yeah. Can you tell us about the journey that you had from Manipur to uh, Kohima? How are you feeling coming back home? Coming back home is uh, such a relief, but out there we had a very tough time because we were cut off from the internet and everything. We don't know what is going on, but we could see all the injuries and all those um, uh, chaos around. So we we were really feeling unsafe out there. But coming back to Kohima, we feel really relief. Uh, your daughter is safely back home now. Uh, how anxious were you? Yeah, I was worried. Now I'm happy she has come back home. What message would you like to give to the other parents who are, you know, uh, still waiting for their children to come back home in safe, in yes. safe hands? I, th I think our government is doing a lot and with the help of Assam Rifle, they are taking care of our <coughs> children. So I think still some, we were told that some students and some people are stuck up. They, they are going to bring them tomorrow again. So we hope they'll be able to, to make it. More than 600 people are still waiting for evacuation and 14 buses will be dispatched tomorrow for the second batch for evacuation. This was informed by a white pattern who said that till the time everyone is evacuated, the state government will be sending buses. Five buses have been arranged by the state government for the people who are to leave for Dimapur today.